Hey everyone, I'm Ultima456, you're the Ultimates, and welcome to episode 30 of Let's Platinum Danganronpa V3 Killing Harmony. And as you can see, I have just achieved 100% items on the Mono Mono Machine with the Pure White Practice Sword, ironically, ironically because it's like a, an item that I actually need, being my last one. Uh, it took me about 10 minutes. I would suggest that the best way to do it is you go to the main menu, you access Mono Mono Machine, put one coin in at a time, and every time you sort of get a few items just back out and save when you get up to about like 90 to 95 percent i would recommend that every time you get an item just back out and save and keep going in to to get that to you know so that you're not using too many coins so now um i'm gonna actually go to the casino and i'm gonna try and get some of those um some of those i or well, what do you call skills and stuff that i want so let's have a quick look because we didn't actually look at it too much. Uh, just ignore that mono kids right here. <laughs> one of them's over there too. All right, so if we go to skill, let's have a quick read. So this one, Envious Influence, is better than um, Attentive Influence. It increases your influence by a lot. We don't really need that. I just bought it because, uh, you know, just in case I was taking damage, because some of the class trials, I think, later are much harder. Menacing Focus would actually be pretty good, because it increases your focus more than Extraordinary does, and focus is actually quite useful. Tranquility is really good. It makes the reticle stop shaking entirely, so you don't even have to worry about anything else. You just, you know, it'll move when you move and it'll stay still when, you, when uh, you're not touching it. Laser beam is interesting. It says increase the speed of fired truth bullets. So if you're pretty confident, you just laser beam your truth bullets, bang, straight on. So that's okay. Maybe it's worth getting. Machine gun. This one's interesting. Makes the silent silencer fire rapidly. Effective during non-stop and mass panic debate. Can't be combined with shotgun or grenade. Now we don't have access to shotgun or grenade. I think it's this one and this one. Uh, machine gun could be okay. I would recommend if you're going to get machine gun, you need to get tranquility and you probably need to get upshift so that you can move your reticle really fast and then you can get a ton of um sire, like white noise oh by the way that is a trophy to get all the to get like i think it's shoot down 500 or so lines of white noise point blank this one's interesting allows the touchpad to be used to destroy white nose uh, white noise is effective during non-stop and mass panic debate so just press the touchpad bang all of it gone in one second so you can do that too i don't know how often you can use that but yeah you can do that too initial a the oh i just realized it's a, it's a reference to initial d probably the first letter will be filled in from the beginning effective during hangman's gambit version 3. not really that useful um, hangman's gambit is not a difficult mini game and as long as you know what word it is like it's not really going to be that helpful zanbato might be a reference to bleach zanpakuto <laughs> uh, increases the size of the slashes um maybe it could be useful i don't really know and then finally, Beat Heaven. Beat Heaven, I think it is actually useful. It makes the beats e easier to hit, effective during argument armament. So I might actually go for that one. And then it's just more notebook stuff, so the rest doesn't really matter. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spend some time in the casino, and I'm gonna keep playing that casino machine, and just try and get, I guess, at least 2,000, uh, you know, casino coins. So you could also remember now that I've used all my mono coins, I could actually spend a bunch to Actually, maybe I should do that. Because, yeah, instead of playing the casino, let's do that, actually. Let's go up here. The thing with uh, salmon fishing, with multiplying your score by three, even if you bet the max, which is 99, you'll only get 297 coins out of it. So it's not that great. Uh, let's go to the exchange counter. And so I have 419 and I need 2000. So if I put, if I bet, oops. Oh, you can do this, good. Press R1 to do this, by the way. Um, I want this many. How do I... Oh, you can only bet 10 at a time? Okay. Let's exchange 137 mono coins for that. Now I have 2,000. And let's get Beat Heaven. Yes. Cool. So I bought Beat Heaven. Done. Let's also deposit maybe like another... I don't know about a hundred. A hundred is a lot. Oh, there you go. You can deposit. Okay, so R1 in, in increases it by 10 and up and down increases it by 1. Let's do it so that we have 200 medals left, I think. So, 82 for 820. There we go. At least that way we've got some coins to work with in the, um, in the casino. Let's have a quick look. Okay, we're going to look, look at our list there. So, I'm going to back out. Oops back out 
and we're back out again. So we're going to save. Don't worry about the other things that are available here right now. We'll deal with that later. Pretty happy with that. That actually went rather well. So yeah, it didn't take very long and I think that's a good, good place to stop. Uh, in the casino, that is. I will now, let me have a quick look. Go to the monopad. Present. No, not present, sorry. Uh, report card. So I want to actually see how this works. So I got... Uh, it's probably all the way at the bottom. I got Beat Heaven. Can I just... Okay, excellent, yeah. So one of the cool things is you don't actually have to use your... Um, your fragments, your friendship fragments. I think it's called, uh, to like purchase it here. You only have to use your friendship fragments to purchase these ones here. All the rest um, are just available if you get it. So I've, I have 22 out of my 25 possible skill slots available and I'll get more when I level up. But beat heaven is good, makes the beat easier to hit, ineffective during argument arm. All right, fantastic, we're on a, we're doing well. So also let's have a look at those. We'll just get rid of all these news. One thing I didn't show off was the uh, end of chapter one present that we got. The sort of memorial thing for Kayere. So go down. Some of these are hard to get. Oh, the, the other presents all come from the casino. So, you know, the, all the ones that I read, like they're gonna start filling in here, 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 and all that kind of stuff. So we can get those later, it's not a really big deal. Uh, proof that you've cleared chapter one, a memento of Kaede. No matter the hardship, there, there was always a deep melody playing in her heart. Awesome. All right, uh, we'll save one more time, and then I'm gonna have to actually take a break. So I just, I just wanted to get that out of the way so you guys knew what I was doing there, and we can now continue chapter two in a bit. I'll bear back. Okay, I'm back. Let's get out of the casino now, and we can continue with the main story. Now, to be honest, I kind of want to do a little bit more in the casino, but maybe I'll leave it for a bit later. It's not super urgent. We're doing pretty well like, oh, right now, so... Okay, so leaving the casino will cause this to happen. Yahoo! Found you, Shuichi! Oh. I didn't know you were here! I've been looking for you everywhere! Huh? Uh, Angie, did you find out anything about the flashlight? Uh... Yep, I finally figured it out! It seems like Atua wants us to gather in the gym for an explanation. Bye, you don't have time to relax now. Bye, Yonara. Alright, so I guess we gotta go to the gym. If Atua is going to explain it to us, I'm guessing she didn't figure it out. But in any case, I should go to the gym. Okay, so after this happens, you fade to black for some reason, and you re regain control. I say for some reason, but I'm sure there's some kind of like actual game logic reason. Uh, now we can head back as you can still, as you can see, it's still daytime. Now this is very important. Enter the school building uh, through the main hall. And when you do, you'll look to the right and you'll see Tenko. You need to speak to Tenko here and you need to make sure you have the everywhere parasol present. If you don't, you can still actually load the game, go into the extra menu so there we go everywhere a parasol with a stand so it can be used anywhere set it up poolside to feel fancy you can give it away but something good might happen if you keep it um yeah so if you don't have it make sure you go to the main menu go to the extra menu go to modern modern machine and keep playing until you get it and then talk to tenko um what's wrong tenko angie said we should meet at the gym yes. yeah i know but i can't stop thinking about the pool I wish I could swim, especially when the pool of my dreams is right in front of me. That's it. Uh, wait, you can't swim, but maybe you can feel like a celebrity if you relax by the pool? What? Huh? What's this degenerate male even talking about? No. I don't think it's such a bad idea. See, you take a parasol and if you put it up by the pool and relax in the shade, you'll feel glamorous for sure. What? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wow, that's a great idea. That didn't even cross my mind. Well then, Shuichi, please sit, set the parasol up for me. Will you go with Tenko? Yes. Oh, all right, fine. That's right. Yes, degenerate males should definitely know their place. Okay then, see you later. <laughs> all right, so now when we get our free time, that event will play out. Well, I suppose it's not too much trouble. Okay, so to the gym, which is this way, sorry. 
Anything else on the way? Nope. Okay, off to the gym we go. So I think a rather long scene is going to play out and I know I have 10 minutes left if I'm not mistaken, so fingers crossed that we can get through all of it. Because yeah, this is going to take a while. Level 26, nice. Sorry if my voice sounds a little bit off, I am, I have unfortunately succumbed to a minor sickness. It should go away in a couple of days. <sighs> a very minor sickness, a kind of annoying cold, but we're, we're okay. Everyone. Gather round. We all here? Good, then let's bow our heads and pray to Atua. You're a real pain in the ass, you know that? Just tell us what you effing want. Alrighty then, check this out. What's the matter? That is a peculiar looking flashlight, so what of it? Uh... I don't know what it is either. I inspected it pretty good. <laughs> but in the end, I couldn't figure it, figure it out. Huh? You couldn't? So I asked someone for help. Could it be... You don't mean... Leave it to Monokuma. If something has you worried, just let Monokuma take care of it. If you don't know something, I'll tell you. If you need help, I'll help you. No if you don't like something, I'll fix it. So don't get rid of it. Please, don't get rid of me. Very bad when lady who act like that preys on you. What? Huh? Do you know that from personal experience? Tell us, Monokuma, what is this flashlight? Yeah. Why, that's a flashback light. Oh. A flashback light. Huh? Flashback? My, my. Light? Hey, um... That flashlight doesn't shed light on darkness. It sheds light on your lost memories. Hey. Lost memories? Yeah. Yeah. You guys seem con seemed concerned that you couldn't remember how you came to this school. <laughs> but if you use that flashback light, you can remember everything. Huh? What? With this light? Yeah. So it's your fault we don't remember when we were kidnapped, huh? May I? What did you do to us? And how did you steal our memories away? Hmm, maybe if you use the flashback light, you'll be able to remember that, too. This is stupid. I don't believe it. No way this flashlight will recover our memories. Yeah. Yeah. I bet there were a lot of naysayers and skeptics when the telephone was invented, too. Hey, um... For your information, the flashback light can treat various symptoms of memory loss. The light it emits stimulates the basal ganglia and hippocampus. Not just that, but physical... Yeah. Phew, I didn't realize how boring it would be to explain. Basically, it works like that. <laughs> hey, don't just give up on explaining after a single sentence. What should we do? So, well, yeah, you said it. Um... What should we do? You mean, no, no, what should we do? You mean, should we or should we not use the flashlight? No. No way, I refuse. It reeks of fishiness. Mm. Yeah. Gonta no can't believe flashlight can bring back memory. Well, why not ask someone who knows machines? We've got the ultimate inventor right here. Aww. You're all a bunch of ultimate dumbasses. No effing way that thing can treat amnesia. Then again, these aren't exactly normal circumstances. Well. So, in such an uncanny environment as this, common sense has no place. Uh... Well, I mean, there are those neuralizer things. The flashy things from Men in Black. Well... Why are you talking about a movie? This is real life. <laughs> yes. y you're right. Sorry. I don't like that. I don't think we should do it. I'm scared it might cause some weird side effects. Mm. Yeah, I'm worried how it will affect my magic. All of you. Has everyone spoken? If we're in accord, I will consent as well. Yes. What about you, Shuichi? You have not said anything yet. What? I, uh... Then it's decided. Let's use it. <laughs> huh? Who decided that? We were all saying how dangerous it sounds. Jeez. You guys are way too cautious. I mean, I understand why. We're in such a weird situation after all. But we can't win just by running away all the time. What? If you want to win, you gotta be a little reckless sometimes. 
If we can't face this danger, there's no way we'll be able to defeat Monokuma. <laughs> well, aren't you confident? But you've no idea how we're supposed to win, do, do you? Yeah, I've got no clue, but still... If you want to win, you gotta make a stand somewhere. You gotta make a stand somewhere, or you'll never move forward. If we run away, our kids will grow up to be the kind of people who run away from things like this. I don't understand. Huh? What are you talking about? You know... If you still want to run away, then go ahead. I won't stop you or blame you. Okay. Fine. Then let's go. Mm -hmm. Huh? What's wrong, everyone? Aren't we going? Um... I'm staying. After hearing that degenerate speech, running away would just frustrate me. Mm. Going to also stay is what true gentlemen would probably do. 100%. I also agree with Kaito. Our defeat is 100% assured unless we stand up to this. That's how I feel deep inside. Just a whisper. <laughs> you hear it in your ghost? I'm pretty sure robots don't have ghosts though. That is not funny. Leave me alone. I shall stay as well. I suspect I will be able to observe something most interesting. On your knees. If anything happens to me, you'll better beg for my fans, the world, and humanity for forgiveness. All right. So what are you gonna do, Shuichi? Uh, okay. uh, I... I'll stay behind too. Alright. Right. I'll stay too. So what if it might cause some weird side effects? That's no big deal. Seems everyone agrees with Kaito. Very well. I shall follow suit. <laughs> now it's decided. Hurry up and do it. Then I'm gonna turn it on. Yeah. Please. Click. At the moment that Angie flicked on the light, the world warped. A lightning bolt in my mind shattered my consciousness like shrapnel. Like a video in fast forward, scenes played out in the back of my head. When the pieces of my psyche had gathered together again. I... remember. I remember now. I was running away. I have been running this entire time from the ultimate hunt. Those of us with ultimate talents were hunted down. I wasn't safe anywhere. Eventually, I had no place else to run. I was cornered, and to escape from the ultimate hunt? I threw away my ultimate talent to live as a normal high school student. By erasing my talent and my memories, I no longer had any reason to be hunted. If I didn't do what I did, I would have been captured, a fate worse than death. And so, I chose. I chose to gamble on a new technology, developed in a particular facility. Technology that could put your memories to sleep by controlling your brain waves. I used that to hibernate all memories relating to my talent. Yes, I remember everything now. In order to escape the ultimate hunt, I erased my own memory. Hold up. W wait, did you say ultimate hunt? Huh? Really? You guys too? So it wasn't just me getting chased down in this ultimate hunt. I do not agree. Yes, you were not the only one. I... No, we were being chased as well. We looked around at one another, each of us with the shame, same shocked expression. What Kurumi said was true. We were all the same. We were all running from the ultimate hunt. In other words... All of us here were being chased by the ultimate hunt. What on earth does that mean? Um... Oh, wait. Can someone tell me what that is? I can't seem to remember. What is the ultimate hunt? Jeez. How could you forget something so important? Alright guys, the ultimate hunt is... What? Huh? What was it? Why can't I remember? Uh... 
um... I can't either. I suddenly realized I could not remember any important details of the ultimate hunt. But how? It's no use. I can't remember either. I can only remember being chased. I can't remember anything else at all. Yeah, no matter how hard I try, I can't seem to remember. I don't want to live. I want to die with everyone else. What was that? I want to die with everyone else? I remember saying that, but why did I say it? Uh, it's no use. I can't remember either. God damn it. Uh, this feels gross, like a crap that won't fully squeeze out. <laughs> Even if we can't remember, we should still be able to figure something out. Huh? Hmm? What do you- what do you mean? <laughs> if we were all running from the ultimate hunt, then why are we imprisoned here? Why? Huh? Why? Could it be? Could the reason be that we were caught by the ultimate hunt? Caught by the ultimate hunt. Um. You mean we tried to escape by erasing our memories, but they found us anyway? And subsequently we were captured as part of this ultimate hunt? You know. Then this killing game is. Yeah. It might be the work of the ultimate hunt. Man, they say that a lot. If that is so, then I am all the more concerned about this ultimate hunt. But, but... But... Oh wait, but... But how disappointing! No one can remember anything! <laughs> what a disappointing disappointment! Piece of shit. Quit laughing about this, you little crap. It seems, as if... it seems losing him made a far bigger impact than we expected. Huh? Him? Yes. Rantaro, he seemed to know more than he let on. Hey, I have a question. This might sound a little weird, but does the term ultimate hunt ring a bell for anyone? I do sort of remember him saying something like that. Hmm. Our mild-mannered mystery man said that, huh? But Then why did only Rantaro remember the ultimate hunt? Listen. There is no point discussing that now. After all, he is already dead. But if you truly wish to hear his words, I could perform a seance for you. Mm-hmm. Stop it! Don't bring up weird stuff like that. And why are you acting girly all of a sudden? Okay, yeah, this scene goes for a long time. Alright, I think I'm gonna stop here and we'll continue next time because I know I'm already up to like 23 minutes. <laughs> We're close to the end of the scene, I think. But we'll find out next time. Alright, so for now, I want to thank you all for watching episode 30 of Let's Platinum Dung Rock V3 Killing Harmony. My name is Ultima456, you're the Ultimates, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>